Hey everyone, so um, today's video is going to be on this look right here. Uh, it looks like this. It's very colorful, very sparkly. Um, it was originally intended to be a Cirque du Soleil inspired look, which it still is, but it can also be used for gay pride. So, um, because I do support gay rights, um, despite being a Christian, I do believe that everyone is entitled to their own rights, and it's not me to judge who you are. So, for all of you out there who are gay, lesbian, transsexual, bisexual, transgender, whatever you are, uh, if you're watching this, thank you so much for watching this. Um, I hope you enjoy this video for anybody who's watching this. And so if you want to know how to get this gay pride slash shirt du soleil inspired look, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is just apply some lip balm. This is my new one. This is the medicated tangerine one. I like it. It has a bit of a medicated smell like the regular medicated chapstick does, but it's nice, so. I've already prepped the face by applying foundation. I've uh, lightly canceled out my brows. I applied scar wax, a layer of white cream makeup, foundation and then a little bit of white cream over it again then I just drew the main outlines uh, this is a light pink cream sh uh, paint then um, orange yellow blue and purple okay so we're gonna blend it into this which um, is basically um, just that it's a ton of blending it's not really too complicated um, I should probably fix that, but I'll do that at the end. Um, so, and then there's some glitter added in at the end. That purple sheen you see right there is a new glitter that I picked up by Funky Faces. Um, it's the, this is the brand of mm, this brand is derived from the brand uh, Funky Nail or Funky Fingers that creates nail polishes. I actually have one of their nail polishes on right now, and this is in uh, Mrs. Mint. If you're curious so there's that uh, this is called uh, purple but it's what gives it that sheen that like duochrome uh, I love this and I also use a holographic glitter which is an exact dupe for max 3d glitter uh, 3d silver and this is silver hologram so it looks like that uh, these are great they're very uh, lightly they're very finely milled so they're not going to damage your they're not going to hurt your eyes too much so yeah after that quick little prep we're going to get into it okay so uh the first thing that i'm going to do is i have my palette here that has all my mixed colors and the colors that i've been mixing um so you can see there's the purple glitter uh, i have a orange yellow blue purple white black this is a green that i made up then I have uh, red, pink, green, uh, red, orange, a uh, bit of blue, yellow mix, and a blue, yellow mix there. So for this look, I've been using three brushes and my fingers. It's mainly my fingers because the warmth from your fingers melts the makeup in your skin, helps to blend it out. It's the best thing you can do for it. So the first thing I'm going to do is actually take this one that I've been using for the black. I'm going to take a bl the black and I'm going to take that and just So I'm actually going to start with the red. And how I actually started this was I mixed uh, the orange and some of the red together to make more of a 
red orange um, instead of just a pure orange and a pure red and brought that down like that and then I just took the red brought that down Um, I also recommend having a washcloth nearby so, or a towel, you can see this one. I have special, not special washcloths, but cheaper washcloths that I just keep by me to um, wipe off when I'm doing makeup or anything like that. So I'm actually going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see, and I'm going to turn the light on. It's going to warp the colors, but I'll let you know what I'm doing. Um, it may not warp them too bad right now, but every once in a while the color will shift. So you can actually see that pretty good right now, the colors. Um, but every once in a while the color changes from the settings because it's on auto. So, um, yeah, but I'm just going to keep my palette at hand. And it's really just about mixing. You uh, want the gradient to work out. So... Then I'm shaking glitter. So that it kind of like falls onto the red. You kind of want it to look like, um, I mean, I guess you could say dandruff, but it's not gross. Um, Kind of like it's falling, like almost like galaxy-like. You want it to look very, like, you know, like it's meant to be there. You don't want it to be like a harsh line if you can help it. Later, we're going to go in with the holographic glitter and kind of uh, dust that around everywhere so you can see the glitter over here. That's the holographic glitter, which I'll show you again now. You can see that looks just like Max 3D glitter. And here is the purple glitter that I have on. Um, in the bottle, um, like even now, it doesn't really look like that. But when you put it on the face and like on the finger or anything like that, like here's some on my finger, it like gets this amazing duochrome that is absolutely gorgeous and incredible. Um, so that's really impressive and this was a $3 glitter and it has a little sifter in the top so you don't get too much out. I'm definitely going to go back and pick up like a bunch of these. Um, and with that glitter, we're going to uh, pat that up the nose a little bit. Just kind of like that. You can see it kind of picks up a little bit of different color. It goes like up here is blue and purple. And it kind of has like that dark bluish purple effect. And up here it's more of a brighter. Oh, I hate touching, putting stuff around my nose because it makes it itch. Alright, so you have that done so far. So you have the red. Then we're going to move into the orange. So um, again, I'm just going to start with my finger for this and mix it in with that darker red orange. And then just 
thing to be that blended. It's intense, it's blended, it's gradient. It's basically like a color wheel, kind of, like a rainbow. So pretty much you could make this a gay prize thing too if you wanted to wear it to a parade. Parade. You see a hair. There we go. And the orange on my brush. I think personally the hardest part of doing looks like this is getting the colors on both sides correct. Like even, symmetrical, whatever you want to say, I think that is the hardest. Then we're going to take the purple glitter and we're just going to simply put it on over it.
then we're going to do the eyeliner and the eyebrows. Uh, the eyebrows, I just did, I just kind of winged them. Not like winged them like out, just kind of like did it freehand, wasn't really thinking. Uh, so, just do them however you want. Um, not that big a deal. Ugh, this eye keeps watering. Sorry, guys. I hope it doesn't mess everything up. Um, take the holographic glitter on that one brush that we used to apply the regular glitter. And what we're going to do is just kind of like... Okay, so once you've like finished that, you're pretty much done. So I have glitter all over my chest. I'm gonna go to school tomorrow. I was gonna be like, why do you have glitter on your tits? It's gonna be funny. So this is the finished Cirque du Soleil look. Um, also gay pride look. I don't like how the eyebrows turned out. Um, I I really don't. Um. Like, at all. Um, I liked how this one was before, and then I had to change it because I did this one too big, and that pisses me off. But, um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it's kind of a long video, but it's really fun, and so, yeah, I will see you all Friday. Well, I'll see you tomorrow for a rant video, and then I will see you... Friday for another beauty video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll give you one last look. Alright, love you guys. Bye.